Hey guys, it's Friday. <laughs> I'm so happy it's Friday. It's been a crazy week. <laughs> it has been crazy weeks work-wise for me. So it's been very hard to spend time <laughs> with my babies and it's killing me, but it is so sunny and it's warm. It's going to be in the 60s today and tomorrow will be in the 70s, maybe even hmm, when the sun comes out, it sometimes goes up into 80 degrees. So I decided I want to change Monroe and put her in something very summery because I'm just feeling that way. I'm just not sure which, which outfit I want to put on her. <laughs> so I love this sunsuit. This is by, I don't even remember who it's by, you guys, because I took the tag out of it. I don't remember. I've had this for, oh, I lie. I found a tag. It is from Babadoo. It's, you know, old Babadoo, because I, I got this right before I got Monroe, so it's at least four years old. But it's so cute. It's pretty. It's lightweight. It's just a cute little, it ties at the shoulders. Um, but that can also be a pain to actually tie it on the baby <laughs> or I have this pink striped and color block sunsuit from Shockety which I also love this one's easier to put on her I don't know which one I want to put on her you guys I just don't know if I put this one on her I'm going to have to change her diaper because her brighter pink diaper will show through. Hmm. Let me ponder. Let me ponder while I take her sleeper off. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Ah, the dilemmas. The dilemmas of what to put the baby in. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's so stressful sometimes. And and I, I say that, and I, I say it in a joking way, but I also am saying it in a somewhat truthful way because I do stress. Because I'm silly that way about the outfit choices I put on my dolls, <laughs> as you all know. And so I'm just so sick of putting like warm clothes on my babies because I'm sick of winter. And so I am welcoming any warmth that will come my way. <laughs> like, need it. Need sunshine to grow. <laughs> so yeah. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to chat with you. I also have um, new pacifiers I want to show you guys. And I haven't seen these around for very long. However, I have seen them for a bit. So some of you may have seen, or, like, seen them already. But I'm going to share them with you because I just feel the need. So I think I'm going to attempt to put this on her. Because here's the problem. It's a very see-through-ish like uh, fabric. So that's why I want to put the white on her. Or the other alternative is to put her in uh, off-white. Huh. What to do? I don't know. It's it's truly, yeah, it's a struggle. I'm going to put this on her, though. I'm definitely going to do that. I just need to figure out whether I'm going to... Here, I'm going to pull you guys back because I need to get into my drawer. Um, I have a diaper that is, um, gosh, I should have done this before I started the video. Good grief. The struggle is real for me, guys. No joke. I have a diaper that's like an off-white color. I just have to find it. If it's here somewhere, I just have to locate it. There it is. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is the behind-the-scenes stuff that happens. Lord have mercy. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> White diaper's not going to do. This is a diaper by... What's this by? It's a no-name brand. I think it, like, Creations by Laura little bee creations. It's one of those off brands that I think went out of business some like a long time ago. And when I say a long time ago, I mean a long time ago. So you're not gonna be able to find it. So my apologies. And sorry, baby bits, but you know, we gotta change your diaper. <laughs> 
It's just the doll, guys. Just the doll. Even though she's got very realistic, very realistic parts, if you will. So this is a bigger diaper. It's not a brand newborn. It says small, but it's just, I mean, I. this is a diaper that I got, I believe, with a Romy Stridum baby at one point in time, like a long time ago. I don't know. But it's it fits her really well because she is a bigger baby. And the Romy Stridum babies, I mean, she has smaller more newborn sizes for her babies now but um back in the day she only did like larger babies they were definitely like you know zero to three months or even three month size um so yeah anyways i digress um so i just wanted to get back at back at it so to speak and just focus on the babies you know, that was one of the comments that stood out in my previous video when I was talking about, you know, the tea spillers of our community and why those types of videos and live streams bother me. And I totally understand the person who left the comment. Why? Because I, I can see how it would feel like a negative, uh, give a negative feel, if you will, um, chatting about even, you know, something that you know, I'm not talking badly about people. I'm just recommending after seeing a lot of um, stuff come up recently and seeing a lot of tea spilling happening recently and not so nice conversations and people being very, very aggressive and out and out, right, out and out lying about someone they're spilling the tea on. That's why I wanted to speak up because I know a lot of people participate and they don't realize they may be really hurting somebody that they know nothing about the situation. So that's why I like to speak on things like that. I, I, I understand though that it feels like negative, like I would be bringing negativity. So I apologize if you took it that way to anybody that may have viewed that video. I'm not trying to be negative, nor am I trying to engage necessarily in any of the negativity happening in the doll community. In fact, I try to steer very, very clear of it um, and I stay out of it. But I do like to give advice because people, newer collectors all the time keep saying, you know, I'm new, I didn't understand and I shouldn't have gotten involved. I've seen it happen. Um, and newer collectors get sucked in because they don't think that they're harming anything or whatever by engaging when in fact they really are. So that's why I generally talk about topics like that. Cause I just want to make, I want to make it easier for people to figure out the best way to navigate coming into this community, being newer in the community. Even if you've been here for a little bit, it's very hard to navigate, you know, what to do sometimes. And you just want to join in the fun and you think it's going to be fun. And sometimes it just goes awry, you know, <laughs> happens, especially in live streams, especially when you have a chat section that people are having a full on side conversation and it can get quite nasty based on, based on, you know, just the topic of uh, the live stream. And, you know, it's also why we tend to have moderators um, keeping things positive in most live streams, at least the ones I participate in on the channels that I participate in, because we don't want it to go awry. We don't want it to go off in the ditch. We don't want people to get hurt. We want to keep it lighthearted oh, every time guys, every freaking time. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to give advice. So I, but I, but I wanted to get back at doing dolly stuff, just doing dolly stuff, lighthearted, fun, dolly, you know, Monroe time. And so here we are. They got the baby stuff. Yeah. My goodness, you're so cute. And I always have to fuss with these stupid. This is also part of probably why I don't put this on her a whole lot because I have to like really play around with the bows on her shoulders while carefully adjusting them without, you know, pinching her or whatever. But I just, I like them to look right. Anything that you have to tie a bow with, is it not difficult? Like, I feel like every time, like anything that you have to tie a bow on a, on our dolls, it's hard to get it perfect. Like those head bows, oh my gosh, like it just is so frustrating for me, you know? Because I, you know, the OCD in me wants it to be perfect and it's not going to be. Struggle, struggle buzz. 
Um, but this is such a cute little romper. I just, oh, you guys, I love it. I love it on her and I haven't had it on her in a really long time. So see how that diaper does a lot better job if you're not seeing the huge contrast of a different color underneath because that would have bothered me. <laughs> Let's face it, <laughs> that too would have bothered me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I love this on her and I don't care that it's not summer because it doesn't matter. And I do have little sandals. I wonder if I should put these little sandals on her. I don't know. I have really cute sandals. I have really cute stuff that I hardly ever put on her because I don't generally put things on her feet. So I probably will put them on her at some point, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So let me show you guys the new pacifiers that I just got. Well, I didn't just get, but I've had them for oh, like a week or two. Okay. Look at these. And I have the plain round ones. It's called um, from Bibs. And these are from, uh, they're called Frigg, F-R-I-G-G, -G. Frigg. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I might be butchering it. Who knows? But I love the little petal-like design around them. And I got this, I got a two-pack. They come in different color variations. I got these on Amazon because they were, you know, I have Prime, so I like quick delivery when I buy things, if I can find them on Amazon. <laughs> so it's just like a really pretty, um, uh, I guess it's a dusty pink, dusky pink, and then an off-white, a cream color. And so I just thought that these were really cute. So, and I, and because I may use them in Monroe's mouth at some point in time, not likely very often if I do. I cover them with Silpoxy because um, you don't want to expose uh, the Playtex, or Playtex? <laughs> the latex, thinking of Playtex bottles, the latex nipple, you don't want to put that into your silicone's mouth because that can have a reaction because the latex does break down. So I actually, I seal it with Silpoxy and then they're good to go. I just lightly coat them. Um, but most of the time I'm using them as props and, you know, they're cute. And I'm seeing other styles in there actually from Bibbs. That Bibbs also has like a flowery style where it's kind of different little flower variations around. It's still round, but you can see through parts of it like a flower um, that are really pretty as well. So I went back and forth on whether I would want those or these. And I liked these better for some reason. I don't know why. Um... So yeah, check those out on, on Amazon if you're always looking for cute pacifiers. I love them as props. I'm I literally I might have put a pacifier in Monroe's mouth two times, three times since I've had her in almost four years. And I just because I love her mouth so much, she's very cute with a pacifier in her mouth, but I just am not a fan of the open shut, open shut of their mouth, even though I know it's durable. That is literally the biggest wear and tear, even if you're putting like the, um, that water-based, uh, like KY jelly or whatever. I have, I have that and I have used it when I do put a pacifier in the mouth, but I don't like the gumminess because it literally balls up and it, and it comes off in like a jelly light because it solidifies. So I'm not a fan of putting anything in her mouth. I love her mouth without anything in it. If I occasionally do it, it's fine, but I don't want the wear and tear on her mouth of putting something in and taking it out. And it's also the corners of the mouth is where the damage tends to happen just from pulling their chin down to open their mouths. Um, so yeah, I just, I prefer her without, but I like, I like having the prop to have like sitting next to them. You know, that's really a majority of why I use pacifiers. Even with my Reborns, if they have a, if they have a magnetic pacifier or that can take a magnetic pacifier. I generally don't use those either because that's also can be wear and tear and scratch their mouths. I don't know. It's just my preference and I've seen it happen. I've seen people have damage done to their dolls because they didn't either put a piece of felt over the magnet on the pacifier and it scraped across the, the mouth or the chin of the doll. I don't know. It's, it's, just stuff I've seen over the years. So I am like the super cautious person. And I just, I don't know. I, I generally won't buy a doll that I don't like the mouth on. 
So if I feel like I need to cover it up with a pacifier, I don't know. In the role playing, I'm not into that. You guys know that. So I don't need to like put a pacifier or feed, feed the doll, the bottle and all that. It's just not my thing. So I find that I don't get the wear and tear and I don't see the damage that can happen over time if you regularly do use those things. So just something to keep in the back of your mind. I know people think I'm always warning them and it is because I've seen, <laughs> I've seen what happens when we, when we use pacifiers on a regular basis on a silicone doll. Um, and same with reborns. If you're not, you know, I would highly recommend always putting a piece of felt or fabric over the, the, um, the magnet because the magnet has edges and even a reborn that's well painted and well sealed um can can also be scratched so yeah anyways but check out amazon they have these and they have them in all variations of like two pack colors they're really cute i just think you know for girls i mean not that you couldn't put one with a boy but it's definitely a girly looking pacifier and i love that and i'm i'm loving that style of pacifier because they're super popular right now so i just i like the shape of it i like just I don't know, it's a cute prop. <laughs> so, and I haven't had any, I haven't even had time this week to change um, Lola. She's still in her basket over here. I'll show you real quick. She's still hanging out in her basket looking. She's like the perfect little newborn. I'll, I usually put the basket back on the changing table, but since I was changing Monroe. And then you always hear me talking about Amy. There she is. She's over here. She lives in that car seat all the time, unless I use the car seat. I just like having her in there because it's well protected. And yeah, anyways, so um, hopefully I will get to um, making a video this weekend, changing Lola. She's in dire need of, and because she has full limbs, I can put like, you know, sleeveless rompers and such on her. So I'm really looking forward to that. But there's Monroe for the day, guys. If I were to, if it were like a hot summer day, I would totally put a little sun hat, like a jockety little petaled sun hat on her. Um, but, you know, this will do. <laughs> I just, I love babies and rompers, especially sunsuits. I just think they're so cute. But there you go. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, and thank you again for all the comments and the feedback on the previous video. And once again, I will try to be very conscious as I move forward and making videos that I keep it about dolls, of course, but you know, it's in my nature to want to like forewarn people or give advice. So that's generally what my aim is when I make videos like that. So anyways, thank you guys for watching as always, and you will see us all soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.